everyone! Today I want to show you around the Twitch headquarters in San Francisco. I'll also talk a little bit about what it's like to work here, and what the hiring process is like in case you want to work here one day too. The office is located in the financial district in San Francisco, but we all have the choice to work from home. Personally, I'm here about once a month or so. Unsurprisingly, there is a lot of nerd stuff here, especially on the second floor. The most Twitch thing are the 6v6 gaming rooms, as well as this streaming room. We have a 90s hip hop themed room we use for big group meetings, and this cute little area for dogs to chill. On this floor, my favorite rooms are the music room, and we also have a karaoke room. The second floor has a coffee bar area, which is also where we have big company events and happy hours. I often host student tours at Twitch, and without fail, their favorite room is the one I'm gonna show you next, the arcade. From what I've shown you so far, it would be easy to think that we don't actually do any work here, but I promise we do. So I'm going to show you some meeting rooms next. Here are the interview rooms. Back when we held interviews in person, these rooms were where you'd go. Each one has a unique theme, just like all our meeting rooms. The next spot is less visually impressive, but it is critical in my opinion. Nap rooms. I'm someone who wakes up super early, works really well until the afternoon, and then I crash. So having somewhere where I can just like chill and reset for like 20 minutes and come back fresh helps me a ton. And last but not least, this is the main dining area. There's breakfast three days a week and lunch every day. The food is really good and there are always cookies. So the space is obviously awesome, but I work from home, so it's actually not the most important piece for me in choosing where to work. I really enjoy working at Twitch for a couple of reasons. First, actually work from home. I value the time, autonomy, and focus that work from home gives me so much that it's actually the number one thing I use to choose where to work. Twitch is different from other Amazon companies. As you may know, Amazon proper requires employees to go into the office most days. But as an Amazon subsidiary, our leadership has made different rules for us based on what works for our team. Being an Amazon company has perks though, honestly, in terms of compensation and benefits. I'm paid well enough that I'm able to support my family, live a good life, and save for the future. I have really great healthcare for less than I paid in Europe, and I'm able to take time off whenever I need to. We have a great situation here where we get some of the stability of Amazon, but still have our own culture. My team is friendly and authentic, my manager is great, and I have lots of opportunities to collaborate across the organization. I've also had strong career growth and learned a ton in my three years here. I'm sharing all this to counter some of the gloom around tech. There's this narrative going around that it's impossible to get a job, and even if you do get a job, you're gonna join some toxic work culture where you're absolutely gonna be burned out. And that's just simply not true. There are absolutely places that offer a great balance where you can work hard and be compensated accordingly. So if you wanna work for Twitch or Amazon, how can you actually do that? Step number one is to have the skills. The interview process is rigorous and you will be expected to take a lot of responsibility on the job. I'll share some specific tips on how to do well in the interview in a moment, but first I wanna share a learning resource that's been really helpful for me throughout my career. The sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a learning app designed to be uniquely effective. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concepts, a method proven to be six times more effective than just watching lecture videos. Brilliant starts you with mastering the foundations in topics like math, coding, and AI, then helps you level up to increasingly challenging problems. I found it really helpful for strengthening my calculus foundations before a graduate level deep learning course. They've been adding lots of new content that's perfect for anyone looking to break into tech, whether that's as a software engineer, data scientist, or machine learning engineer. If you want to check it out, go to brilliant.org slash gratitude driven. Scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description. Brilliant's also given my viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Now back to how to get a job at Twitch. Once you're confident in your skills, check the job listings for open positions. These are listed on both the Twitch and Amazon career sites. When I went through the process, I applied on LinkedIn. I applied for a machine learning focused data scientist role. So the first step was a take home SQL assignment that was actually pretty easy. After that, I had a recruiter call where I talked about my past experience. And following that, another technical screen with SQL, a case study and behavioral question. Once I passed those rounds, I was sent to the on-site loop, which is five hours of interviews. This includes coding in Python, a little more SQL, case studies in machine learning, analytics, and statistics, and of course, behavioral questions. I prepared a lot, so much so that I had actually guessed what one of the case study questions would be before the interview. I did this just by really listening to the team talking about their pain points and understanding the business in depth. This was a huge advantage because it meant that I didn't have to think on the fly. I had already come up with some ideas, and I think that made me look kind of clever, like I had just figured this out in the moment, but really not so clever, just super prepared. 
About a year and a half after joining Twitch as a data scientist, I transitioned into an applied scientist role, which is closer to my skills and background and what I was actually doing on the job anyway. The applied scientist position is similar to a machine learning engineer at other companies, so the interview process is similar as for data scientists, but includes a little less SQL, little more coding in Python, and of course, more on machine learning theory and system design. Regardless of what role you're interviewing for, don't forget about the behavioral questions. These are so important and you must prepare for them as well. To do this, study Twitch's leadership principles and prepare examples from your past experience that demonstrate those qualities. For example, if I were interviewing and testing insist on the highest standards, I might ask you about a time where you had to make a decision between standards and deadlines. And finally, be prepared for the long haul. It took four months from the time I applied until my final offer, so I definitely had to be patient but I'm really glad that I was because it's been super worth it. I hope this gives you a little inspiration to keep trying and working hard until you find somewhere you like working as much as I like working here. If you want some more detailed advice on how I prepared for this interview and how I over-prepare for interviews in general, check out the video on that that's up next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.